Are you worried if you list your home for sale, you won't find one for your family to buy? Watch this video and learn how to keep your family secure so that you can handle two transactions, a successful sale and purchase, all while managing that busy family life. In this short video, I will be going over two very important documents you will need to protect your sale and the purchase all at the same time. There are some technical steps you don't want to miss. While doing two transactions at the same time, once you get through this hurdle, you can get back to doing what you love most, spending time with your family in your new cozy home. And stick around till the end for my bonus tip. You'll hear a lot of unfamiliar words throughout your real estate transaction. One word in particular is contingency or contingent. So let's first define it. What is a contingency? A future event or a circumstance which is possible but cannot be predicted with certainty. So, as previously mentioned, two very import, important contingencies or documents that are needed when your family has to sell in order to buy are the SPRP, Seller's Purchase of Replacement Property, and the COP, Contingency for Sale of Buyer's Property. So now, let's break down these two documents. The SPRP, this form basically states that the contract agreement is contingent on the seller entering into a contract to acquire a replacement property. This puts the buyer on notice, letting them know that in the event the seller does not find a replacement property, they have the right to cancel on the buyer and continue living in their current home. The next document is the COP. This form basically states that the buyer will have X amount of days to get their personal property into escrow or close escrow. So when you're writing offers to purchase a new home, you will also have this contingency in place to perfect to protect you that in the event that you can't sell your home you own now, you will be able to back out of the escrow on the new purchase. In the last video, this is why I stated if your home you are selling is already in escrow, your offer is a significantly stronger offer. If either of these two documents get overlooked contractually, you as a seller or buyer would have to move forward with the contract. This could really cause some unnecessary stress for your family. And here is my bonus tip. If you want to do away with the contingencies, you most certainly can by selling first and then completing a purchase. Some families do not like this option because they would essentially be moving twice. So give it a thorough thought for your family before you make this huge de decision. Now that you know about two very, very important documents you will need during your escrow, in the next video, I will be going over preparing your home for sale on the central coast of California. If you have ever wondered, do I really have to get my home ready to list? Can't people just see past all the stuff? I will go into detail about the best practices in preparing your home for the open market so that you can gain the most of your home. If you have any questions at all about anything related to real estate in San Luis Obispo County, please don't hesitate to reach out.